Hi folks, Travis Fox here with FoxOptic.com. I'm just going to give you a real quick run through on the QC test that we do on your x site too before we ship it out and how to set your firmware up. Stick around and I'll show you how to do that. Alright, we've got our x site 2 there. This is one that I'll be putting new firmware on and I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, right there in the center slot is your micro SD slot and I've already got the firmware loaded onto this card so essentially the first step is really easy we're just going to install that card into that slot we'll plug our device in uh, in this particular case I'm using external power source I'm going to hook this up to an HDMI cord so that I can output it to a TV screen and show you exactly what I'm doing. And in order to do that, I've got a micro H, or excuse me, a micro HDMI cord here that's tethered over to that television set. So give me just a second, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, when we're ready to put the firmware on, the first thing we're going to do, we've installed the micro SD card, so we're going to go ahead and power the unit on should take it just a second here and should be coming up you see we're getting the ATN screen All right next we've got a prompt because the SD card is installed and has the firmware on it want to know if we actually do want to do a firmware update so we're gonna tell it yes The scope will run through its cycle updating the firmware. It'll count down once it gets completed. It's going to go into, you know, it's going to come back and tell you that it's searching for the Wi Fi signal. It'll reboot itself and the firmware will be on. Again, if you bought your scope from foxoptic.com, yours will come with the latest tested version of firmware that's currently available. Take it just a few more seconds here and we'll have the new firmware installed. Again, once it counts down, it's going to shut itself off and go through another set of prompts and restart itself to confirm that the firmware is actually on there. You see now that it's rebooting the screen, it's going to come up to configuring Wi-Fi, which will take just a second or so. One thing to keep in mind that I have found, this is why I'm doing this outside, is the, the, when it comes up on the configuration, I've noticed that sometimes I'm better off to do that in a location. I think it searches for the GPS signal, and it seems like I have a smoother upgrade process if I do it in a location where I don't have a lot of obstruction, which, to be honest with you, at my house here, I've got a metal roof on it, and I think that causes me a little bit of issue inside because I don't have that issue at the building or at our business building okay so you can see where it's updated to firmware again it's asking me if I want to reinstall it because it's after the prompt it noticed that it was on there so we know that it's taken the update so we're gonna tell it no this time it's gonna come up and give us a prompt saying that the firmware was updated successfully and when we set these up the next set of checks that we do is typically just as a little QC I go in I hit the day night mode one time to confirm that the cut filter is working correctly. I gotta have the cap down to verify that. So we're gonna hit it again to take it out of that mode. Everything's working good there. Typically I point it back here on the range. I focus it at 50 yards. Move back here, I've got a 125 yard target refocus it there just to ensure that everything is working correctly once I've completed that I go into my menu by hitting the center button go over here to settings and typically when we send them out I like to shut the geo tagging off because I found that the unit will function better with less the less things you have turned on that you're not using the smoother it will operate so typically I try to have everything set up as shut off when it comes out of the box and then the only other thing we do here is we set the device type so in the case of this this is a 5 to 20 so we set the device type right there and essentially that's all we do to get them ready to go out to the customers so 
If you, in the future, if you need to do a firmware upgrade yourself, you go to atncorp.com website. On the top right hand side of the screen, you'll see a firmware update button uh, or updates. And click on that, find, find the most recent version of firmware for your scope as they make changes. And essentially, you just download that, copy, and paste that onto the micro SD card, change the profile name. Like in the case of this, it's an X Site 2, so you so you drop the remaining portion of that off of the name of the file to where it just says X Site 2, and then copy and paste that onto your micro SD card, install it. Pretty simple. For all your ATN X Site needs, be sure to check us out on the web, www.foxoptic.com, or give us a call toll free 877 806 2977. Thanks a lot.